So everyone understands UV light's high energy light. There's, you know, it's very energetic. What you're saying, if I think about this as an evolutionary biologist, the microtubule dimers, the component pieces that make up the microtubules, they are capable of absorbing UV light. And UV light, as we said, is high energy. Um, it, the fact that they are structured microtubules to absorb that light without being destroyed or damaged suggests that they evolved in the presence of a fair amount of UV light, even deep within the the brain and body where UV light from the outside is not getting in. And so that would imply okay. that they evolved in the presence of UV light that was presumably produced quite locally to where these structures are located. Mm -hmm. I mean, that that would be a good, strong evidence for it. Um, we also see this, that when you depolymerize, so you break apart the structure, each individual tubulin monomer at that point is not able to move around light, obviously, because it's not structured, but the absorption also changes in terms of how much energy each individual uh, monomer can absorb. So it's the full network that's involved in absorbing this high energy unit. Mm -hmm. uh, and it would be really interesting to see, you know, how evolutionarily this would have happened 